It's that time, folks, for the Axis of Love monthly dinner. We're just getting ready for it. The community is invited, and we usually have a pretty good time. Peter hurt me. I went to physical therapy. How are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Good to see you. Oh. Oh, I like the seashell. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nice touch, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And a beach ball. <laughs> It's a community thing. We're poor people helping poor people. Or the community inviting the community to, to come eat with us month, once a month. Just think of it that way. I don't think of it. We're, we're rich. We're not poor people. We're actually rich. Yeah, I forgot my wallet. Yeah, I just I forgot my wallet. I'm, I'm actually rich. My. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll tell you what. Do you have a Everybody bring the bubble. Yay, my friends are here. They showed up to eat dinner with us. Make sure that you guys are kind of on the perimeters of the room welcoming people. Let's hit it.
works a lot better if you go and get your waterfall wellness card, which is at 1545 Ocean. Both of the facilities on Ocean donate to this dinner. They're both wonderful facilities. So, I'm going to tell folks something that's going to kind of sound weird. I'm really happy that Tom Amiano's bill got killed in the Senate. Yay! And let me tell you why, so you understand. So, you're not, so that you're not saying, my God, what is this woman saying something against Tom Amiano? So the reason I'm happy that uh, patient advocates were able to get a whole bunch of letters into the counselor of the state senate committee that was going to hear AB 2312. Your access to love patient advocates went to bat for you, and I'll tell you why. That would have created a monopoly. They were going to make a board that was unanswerable to no one but itself. It would have been the most expensive players governing medical cannabis in California. It was one of the worst proposals. I called it the emperor wears no clothes because it was so blatantly a monopolization. It would have violated Prop 215. You wouldn't have the right to cultivate together. They wanted you to register not only the facility which you distribute medicine, the one that you grow your medicine in. During the federal crackdown, I gotta tell you, what grower in the right mind would give their name and where they grow to a government list? That's insane. All right. That is insane. The only people that would have done it were Harborside, Spark, um, Don Duncan, Steve D'Angelo, Don Duncan, Tell Eric it. Pearson from Spark. These guys would be the only guys, or probably Kevin Reed from Green Cross. Yep. Only the monopoly would have won with this one. And what it would have done for your average everyday patient is make the price of your medicine go up. No comparison. And it would have really wiped out all of the smaller mom and pop distribution centers all over California. It was a motion to basically industrialize and leave the people behind. And patient advocates prevented it, and I'm so happy. And then we went one step further, and we said, you know, if you're going to put down affordable medicine, you need to define it. What is affordable? Right. Then we said you need to define patient advocate because a patient advocate is not an industry lobbyist. If you're paid by a national policy organization, you're not working for me because I already can't afford my medicine. The last thing I want is an additional five to ten dollars put on that price tag. So we're hoping that with the stalling of these bills, we can hopefully push forward Mark Leno's bill, which was really simple and clear, and all it did was take the Attorney General Brown's guidelines that are already governing us and make them not just non-binding, but actual law. That's right. And it was a very simple solution. So throughout this year, Access to Love is going to be working on two things. On the state level, we're going to be working on a sliding scale and, and, and also possibly having Medi-Cal cover medical cannabis. We're going to keep on trying to push that forward for everyone here. And I'm sure we'll be joined by the Patients Union and I'm sure we'll be joined by a few other patient-based organizations that care about me and you. And on the local level, how many people here are San Franciscans? Yeah. Oh, geez, all of us. Well, we have a thing called Healthy San Francisco. How many people here are on Healthy San Francisco? Yeah. All right, Healthy San Francisco covers your morphine patch. It covers your OxyContin. Wouldn't it be nice if it covered your preference of medical care? Yeah.
for Love is going to work solely on those two issues. Yeah. And if next time you come to this dinner, you're going to be handed a three-ring binder that's going to have petitions in it. And we're going to try to gather before the Senate and the Assembly reconvene after their summer recess. We're going to go and plop on their counters binders full of signatures and say, we will take you out of office. Tell them to come back here. 